We're shooting a commercial for Brown Thomas uh, and their Christmas campaign. This year, dreaming of was their, their theme, which is kind of an Alice in Wonderland thing, where she'd move through various different dreamlike worlds. It's quite a magical story for Christmas, obviously, and it's about uh, a girl who, she kind of falls asleep, and in her dream, she stumbles into a magical world. So we're going to see her going through like three different types of worlds. She's going to be flying through the sky, wandering through the forest, and uh, ending up at a nice Christmas banquet. So it's a cool one to be involved in. Today is uh, we've manipulated using Unreal Engine uh, a number of different backgrounds that suited the creative uh, storyboard. So what we've been doing is trying to merge the real uh, sections of the floor, like the real forest, the real um, art department elements, with the virtual uh, graphics. So what it's allowing us to do is to uh, do it like a set extension. So we're extending way past the, the walls or the edges of the screen into the backgrounds, creating depth. But one of the huge benefits of an LED volume is that as well as the sort of photorealistic graphics uh, that we're able to get in the live manipulation of those, it's the fact that it is LED, it's light emitting. So you're able to create uh, and actually capture the light from the screen uh, in the lighting setups. Wouldn't it be great if the moonlight was coming from over here? Wouldn't it be great if we could actually just make it, make it a little bit more intense? Um, that's an incredible amount of flexibility, but being able to do it on set when you know this is your finished job and actually being able to look through the lens and, and make decisions. Being able to have that creative control over what you're doing and finishing it in the camera is amazing. We're trying to push and push and push, make things more photorealistic. This is gonna be that next level of photorealistic. Actually being able to use cinematic devices like lens flares, like lens diffusion, like actual haze in the environment, that's a huge added plus that you can't do with green screen. It's just super helpful to come in and it's like a weight off your shoulders to have something to work against. It makes it easier because it takes so much pressure off and see a lot of it was actually already there and um, actualised for me. Without the opportunity to come here and do it this way it would have become something very Ordinary, we would have to strip back, um, but I guess the technology and, and the possibilities of this, you know, it, it's kind of a, it's, it's opened it back up to being a really, really interesting creative and visual project.